and we're getting this whole disco thing. Do you guys see that? Wow. Ooh, look at all the pretty lights. Govi lights, LED lighting. We're using it for backlighting right over there. We got this one. You see, I have two boxes, right? Okay, well, here's the deal. This one here is the one that we reviewed last week. We tried it out. We've been trying it out. You see it over there in the corner. It's been okay. It doesn't seem to project it too wide and maybe not exactly what we're looking for. So we're thinking about this one. These are the Govi RGB IC small wall sconces. Uh, we love Govi. We've got several different Govi devices, lights, thermometer. I can't remember what else, but a lot of lights. I'm going to move this one aside. This is the star of the show today. Let's go ahead, get right into it. It's, if you haven't seen it, it's wall sconces. It's a set of four. They're connected by a, about a two foot wire. You can control it with the controller that's built in. You can control it with the app on your phone. It works with Alexa. It works with Hey Google. Uh, let's open it up and show you some more. Now, I'm going to take a quick second. We bought this on Amazon. I was thrilled. It came in one day. What I was not thrilled about, they delivered it in this box. It was not in a cardboard box. It was just in the box like this. They had put stickers all over the box. I carefully removed them so that you all can see it. I didn't really like it. And they set this box, right? This box. They set it on my front porch. Like, that's kind of crazy. There's a lot of people walking up and down my street all day long. If you saw a cool little box like this and you were a porch pirate, this would be Pirate's Bounty. So anyway, the other thing, which was kind of crazy, the safety seal, the safety seal. Uh-uh. The safety seal was not, no way, for the record, this was already open. It was just like this. Why the safety seal was open? I'm not sure. I'm still a little skeptical, but uh, that's one demerit for Amazon. Don't send me it like this. I know you're trying to be environmentally friendly, but this is ridiculous to send my packaging like that. Okay, so let's get into it. Govi, making life smarter. I agree. I think Govi is pretty cool. Uh, you know, all the little quick start paperwork that you have. Let's connect. Let's get your stuff registered. I don't know if there's really anything of use tells you you're going to need a screwdriver, you, how you're going to mount the lights. So I don't think I really need this, but we'll just keep it handy anyway. Um, one thing we're not going to do today is we're not going to mount these to the wall yet. We'll probably put them on the floor um, so we can test them out because I really want to get lights that serve our purpose. These might be great, but again, our purpose is a little bit unique. So let's go for it. In the package, it looks nice, right? It seems like it's packaged well. You have an accessories box here, and it shows a list of all the things that you should expect to see in here. So we'll check against this because I don't think anybody took anything out, but I don't really know that yet because I haven't gotten into this. Now, if you don't mind, take a second, subscribe to our channel, like us and follow us because we're going to do lots more reviews and unboxings and give you some good, hopefully some very good information. So please do that. Okay, so the accessories package here, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and let's just check our content. Is something missing? That's the first question that comes to my mind. Uh, even before, I'm not going to open these up, but I'm going to check the box. So here we go. Let's just kind of dump it on out. So I can see right away, we have the four mounts. These are the wall mounts that you're going to put on the wall. You use screws and adhesive. You put them on the wall and the, the lamp fits right in and shines up the wall or wherever you want. So adapter, check. Bag looks like it's still sealed. Control box, control box. Here's the control box. Here we go. Let's go ahead and open that one up. See, they're going to know I opened this. There's a control box. You can control these with or without a device, a phone or tablet. So you have basic power buttons. You have one that cycles through the different modes. There's a bunch of different modes that this thing comes just right out of the box. 
that you can cycle through different colors. Um, it has a mode where it, it reacts to your music. So it's like a strobe for your music. It does a lot of cool things. When you use your phone, there's, I think, 30, more than 30 uh, indoor lighting scenes pre-programmed, and then you can do your own custom ones too. Power cable times three. This looks like power cable times three because I see six. As I mentioned before, they're fairly short cables, two feet long. That means that we only have about six feet from the beginning to the end of the chain of four lights. So um, yeah, it's okay. I wish they would have given some options, maybe another longer one. You could always tie it up or something, but that's kind of restrictive in my humble opinion. Okay, so we have the, the wires. We have the power adapter. What else are we supposed to have? Mounting buckles we have. Check. Screw kit. 10 screws and anchors. So let's open this up. There we go. We've got a bunch of goodies in here. Look at this. Goodies. Okay, let me show you what they've given us in the box. There's adhesive. In the instructions, they suggest that you use adhesive on the back, you stick it on the wall, and then you as well screw it in either with a screw or with an anchor that they've provided you with. I don't know if these things are as heavy that you really need all that, but we'll find out. So we have that. We have our four little pads. These are, whoa, these are cable clips. These little guys, if you've never seen them, they have double-sided foam tape, and then it has a little clip on the side so you can keep your wire nice and tidy against the wall. So we've got a few of those. This looks like a little screwdriver tool. I believe that you need something like this or this or a screwdriver to pop this out. If you have the lamp in there, that's how you go ahead and release it. So they've given you that. That's cool. I think it's a very complete set of accessories. Now, I know it was weird that I didn't do the lights first, right? Because that's like the star of the show. But I was really honestly concerned about this not being complete because my box was open. So now let's do it again. Look, Govi, RGBIC smart wall sconces. They look cool. Picture looks cool. And here's what they really look like. I'm going to pull one out. And what do I think? It's plastic. I'm not that surprised, but it looks pretty nice. I think it's a pretty stylish kind of light. They've got the little protective deal on the back to they have a nice shiny plastic. They don't want to get scratched up. The Govi name. Here's what the actual lens looks like. They're very lightweight. They're indoor. So don't try to go put these outdoors because they probably won't last very long. So let's take them on out. There we go. Put this other paperwork and trash and back in the box. Okay, so basically this is what we're going to do. We're going to set them up right here on the table and I'm going to show you how to get it connected to your phone and uh, then we'll go ahead and put them down on the ground or over on the side and do a little testing against the wall. So there's link below. If you want to pick these up, please support us. Click the link. Thank you. Okay, so they have two ports on each one. They go what's called in series, which means it even says it right on there. Let's see if you can even get a picture of that in and out. So there it is. You can see it. I can see it. So it's pretty simple. Out of one into the next, right? That's not brain surgery. Here we go. They've given us a little Molex type or DIN type cable. We're going to go ahead and say out of this one. And we're going to carefully plug that. I'm going to show you. So there's a little release here. If you need to take it out, actually, you'd use their little tool, right? And you go in there and push the clip. So if you didn't hear a click, it's not all the way in. So make sure it's firmly in. Don't force it, but just make sure it's firmly in. I don't really think one of them actually has a label on it. I don't really think it makes a difference which one because they all have in and out. So, you know, for me, I probably am going to go ahead and take the power cord and plug it into the controller. Okay, it has an output for power on the controller, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug it into the input on this one. I'm going to push it gently. I'm going to take this little tool and I'm going to gently push it in then because I don't want to push on the wires. You push on the wires, you could damage it. So better to use this little screwdriver tool that they've given us. So here we go. So that's my controller into my first light. This is going to be our first light. We're going to come out of our first light from the other port on it. And then we're going to go to the in on this one. I'm going to use this tool again. I really don't want to damage anything. And the wires, some of them seem like they're a little bit firm to push in. So just use this. Push on the side of the plastic and it goes in no problem. Here's the next one. We're going to go in. 
you get the idea. Hopefully it's going to be real nice and it'll give us the brightness we're looking for and we'll be able to continue a happy life with these. In any case, you'll see how they work. They look really cool. I think in most cases, people will really love them and I'm hoping we can really love them too. And really, I would say go ahead and use this tool. It's made it so much easier. Even the ones that I can push in, using the tool, once I just set it in, in there, it just makes it very easy and I don't feel like I'm going to damage anything because I'm pushing down on the outer ring, not on the wire, but on the little plastic white part. So there we go. That's it. We just hooked them up. Okay, here's the controller over here. I'm going to grab my phone. I got my phone. Now we can take a look and see how this all works out. As you might see, I already have several Govi devices. There's the light in the corner. See, look, watch. I'm going to turn it off. See, it shut off. Turn it back on and boom, there it is. Okay, plug it in. Okay, as we plug it in, it should start do. up. Oh, you see it? You see it? You see it? Ooh, look at the light. Okay, so they've done their little routine. We're going to go ahead and tell it. We want to add a new device. I could show you this, right? I'll show you this. Here's the remote, the controller, remember? Okay, so here cycles through different modes. So just by pressing the button, I've changed it to this beautiful yellow color. Now I've got another little green thing going on. If I was patient, these might change color, but I'm going to just cycle through and show you. I can just keep changing the colors just by pressing the button. There goes that. See, we're cycling on through. This other button has a looks like brightness. So, oh, there, look, this is like modes. So this is now going to make it go through different modes. Look at that. I didn't have to do anything. And we're getting this whole disco thing. Hello. Oh, look, do you guys see that? Wow. See it responding? That's pretty cool. I like that mode. Press it again. Hello. Hello. Okay. Again, so this has put me into a different voice activation mode. Where, as you can see, as I'm talking, the lights are flickering with my voice. If I clap, if I snap. Now let's see about adding a new device. Let's go back. It's saying add device. What are you adding? Indoor lighting? Then we have a whole bunch of different things that it could possibly be. So we scroll down, we look for, there is a search. So if you see, these all start H, 6 so this, 6 so that. So I could probably, if I wanted to do it a little quicker, maybe look on the box and see. Yep, I think there it is. It says right there, H6087. That's little. That's little. There it is. Go V. See it? Okay. Look, it found it. Bluetooth nearby. Make sure you have your Bluetooth on. You have to have it on to get this stuff connected. It's pairing. Please short press the on off button. This is the on off button. Short press means just like it says, short press. And they're done. Device name. We're going to say sconce. Done. Wi Fi settings. I'm going to add this to my Wi Fi. I'm going to go ahead. It already sees my Wi Fi. I'm not showing you guys the name or the password. Don't do that. Bad security for you, for me, for everyone. Keep your data, your information private. Okay, here we go. And there it is, version update. It wants to update. Let's do it now. Upgrade. Remember, we like upgrades. Upgrades keep you safe. Upgrades give you the new features. Spend a minute. Upgrade. And while we're upgrading, please subscribe to our channel. Follow us and like us. Tune in. Watch all our videos. We're going to show you some cool stuff. We'll give you thumbs up and thumbs down, and we'll tell you what's good and what's not good. And uh, hopefully we'll all learn together. So it looks like we're almost done. It says it's upgraded, it's restarting, and it was successful. So here we are. Here's the control. We can change different effects. There's timer, there's brightness, modes. You want music, you want a color, you want a scene. You can see here you have your individual lights, just like we did with that light bar over there. We can control each light. If we want to control one light or several lights at a time, here's one. We want to do the both ends and we want to change the color to red. There it is. Just that easy. Look, I just changed it. And this is the relative brightness. So there it is. It's not individual. It's relative. You're adjusting them relative to the overall brightness of everything. So if I wanted now to put some gold here in the middle, I'll turn off these other ones. And there you go. It's just that easy. Pretty cool. Here's the different scenes. Okay. Here's Aurora. 
So it's going to do a different thing. You have things that are natural. They're based on rainbows, skies, festivals, Halloween. It'll be something orange. Look, Halloween. Perfect, right? And it changes colors, but it's all Halloween. Here's a birthday, what they're calling birthday. There it is. Happy birthday to you. DIY is do it yourself. That's where you can create your own effects, your own changes, everything yourself. Looks like they have programmed in these scenes. You can do your own scenes. Uh, Music mode, again, means that as we talk, as I'm talking, you can see it's doing this. And then here you have the ability to adjust the sensitivity, but also how it's going to respond if you want it, how you, what you want it to do when you talk. Do you want it to do this way, this way, all those different things? Music sync from device mic is on there and here would sync it's going to ask me if it wants to be able to record audio this would actually do it from my device mic instead of its own device mic let me get back into that application so there it is um we have different auto colors we can change it there's a lot of features that you can do and of course you can turn them on and off from here look it has a little equalizer effect for the party we're on the mic. This was that what it was trying to do the whole time to record from this. So it's doing it. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go back over here where we have just these colors. Um, yeah, I, I really dig this. I mean, this, this sit situation here seems a little bit more straightforward. It'll be interesting to see if we're shining these on the wall. So there, it's kind of does a little bit, right? We'll have to see when we put it in the back how it's going to, how it's going to fare. It looks cool in the dark. But we want to use it in the light, so we'll see how that works. But for right now, I think that's what we have for this set. Think here. Let me turn the lights back on. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to set them down off over to the side. This one is off right now. We're going to test it out and see. Is it going to be what we want, or are we still on the search? So we'll see in a minute. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, we put the lights in. We had to put them kind of close to each other. We wanted to lift them off the ground because at ground level, you didn't really see them barely with our lights on. But we do have bright lights on, right? Because we're filming this video for you. So this is not natural light, but you can actually still see them, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and change it to scene. It's pretty cool. I actually really like it. You see they're at different levels because we had a little short piano bench over there on the side, and then we put that one around the corner. Piano bench? Whoa. Okay, so there we go. It's pretty cool. Let's see if there's like a speed. I think there should be a speed kind of thing. I'm not seeing speed on here, which is a little bit surprising. Now, it's interesting. I really, I don't see speed. On the other devices that we've had, we've been able to control the speed at which the color transitions happen. And maybe I'm just missing it. I don't see it. It's really hard for me to believe this. I know I keep sounding like a broken record, but why would they make it like that? So, I mean, it's really cool. I really like it, but wow. Did they really miss the boat on that? I turned them way down. Let's turn them up and let's make them red. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of at loss for words. How do you have? I mean, maybe I can do it in the do it yourself. I'll have to try. But really, on their pre canned stuff, I have no way to come in here and just change the speed that the that it happens at. I have a billion and two different different things. I can color patterns and and scenes that I can select. And I can't change the speed. I don't even know what to say. That's it. It's kind of crazy, right? Govi, you blew it on that. We love you. We still love you. That part is a big thumbs down. Sorry. Yeah, hopefully you adjust that and fix that in a further release of this software because I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. Anyway, I'm going to give you guys a quick little view with the lights in the studio turned off so you can see the beautiful lights. It does look beautiful. Let's change to something. This is an Aurora. It's pretty cool. Once we mount the lights, I think we'll it'll look even better. Always love Halloween. It looks like Halloween, doesn't it? Let's see. Relaxation. That's what I need to do is relax. This one is meditation. Do we think this looks like meditation? Huh? Comment below. Meditation? Is this meditation? I know. Okay. So um, what else can I show you? We'll do the music one.
Whoa, 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 whoa. See, it's pretty cool. I like the the music one is pretty cool. It actually lights up really bright. It looks really cool though. Here with the music, I think we had didn't we have a way where we could choose things for music also? Let's see. Oh, I think it's here. Ah, I think it's here. I think we got to go back over here. And now we get the sensitivity for the mic. Instead of syncing from the device mic, it's syncing from the lights again, which gives us the different patterns that you can tell it to do in response to your voice. Now this is called piano keys. You have hopping, going back and forth different places. You have rolling. And then, uh, yeah, you have your schemes, those kind of things. I wonder if there's something here maybe in the scenes that it was doing the same thing. No, still no speed. Too bad. That's really too bad. Um, I actually like it much better syncing from the lights, not from my device. I, I don't know why. I guess maybe you'd want to if you were near a speaker or something instead of people talking near the lights. That would make sense. But anyway, this is pretty cool. I do like these lights. I think I'm I'm way more into these. These came in at about $65, I think, on Amazon. You can check the link below. And uh, so it was... You know, a good chunk, 30, 40% less expensive than the stick light. And uh, outside of not being able to change the speed, did I mention I don't like that? Anyway, so um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. So let's turn these big lights on. And um, yeah, that's it for today. You got the Govi RGBIC smart wall sconces. We give it a thumbs up, Govi. Why didn't you give us the ability to change the speed? For that, we're giving you a thumbs down. Just a quick one, but we like it. Go out and get it. Subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Tune in next week. There's a special episode coming your way.